Well, international borders have opened up just in time for summer travel, but health officials warn the Delta variant of COVID-19 has spread with at least 50 cases identified in Georgia so far. Now, experts at Wellstar Kennesone Hospital offer some advice on how to keep yourself safe. On Fox Size, Laura Neal is live there tonight. Laura, what's the number one tip they're giving us? Get vaccinated. Health officials here at Wellstar Kennestone Hospital, they say get that COVID-19 vaccine and it will protect you against this Delta variant, specifically the two dose vaccines. Now, this will also help with any other mutations that may come along. We spoke to one vaccinated mother of two who's loading up her family and flying to the Caribbean early in the morning. She walks us through some of the health precautions they've taken and that health visa process. I don't think the process was difficult, but the anticipation for making sure we checked all of our boxes and then also waiting um, for them to reciprocate anything we needed is a little bit stressful. Lexi Power and her family leave early Wednesday morning for St. Kitts and Nevis. Traveling with young kids is always an adventure, but with COVID-19 precautions, they had to add health visas and negative COVID tests to the planning process. So even though we were fully vaccinated, we still had to prove um, that we didn't current or we weren't currently carrying the virus. Power says the country's tourism website suggested using testfortravel.com to locate an approved test 72 hours before departure. Everyone tested negative. <laughs> and now that all of that business is out of the way, health visas secured, masks ready to wear, passports packed. Power says she can be excited about their vacation. So this is a very exciting moment, not only because of the, what the last year has looked like, but also because our kids are so young and we get to have this experience with them for the first time. Lexi says these will be the first stamps in her little girl's passports and they have to have negative COVID tests when they re-enter the states, which their hotel will organize within 72 hours of returning home. Reporting live in Cobb County, Laura Neal, Fox 5 News. Thank you, Laura.